Beth starts off this hour in Fort Collins, Colorado. Hi, Beth. How are you? Hey, Dave. I'm great. It's great to talk to you today. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Good. Um, so my husband and I have been following your plans for a while now, and we're just finishing up with Baby Step 3, and things are going great for us. However, I'm calling today because my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law are struggling financially, and we're trying to help them get on board with the day plan. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm worried that if they don't get a better handle on their finances, then my husband and I are going to have to step in and help support them. And we already have a full plate with three young kids. Mm-hmm. And so just wondering if you have any, any advice on how to help them help themselves. Mm. Um, how, how old is your mother-in-law? She's 71. And what does your brother-in-law have to do with her? Does he live with her? Uh, um, yes, she's allowed him to live with her in an apartment. Mm-hmm. Um, my father-in-law passed away about 11 years ago. What's wrong with your so brother-in-law? He's kind of a deadbeat. Mm. Uh, poor thing. Yeah, he's just not doesn't have a lot going on with him, and yeah. he's kept the job for the last year. But he's just you know so far in debt, and he. He just struggles day to day. He's had some drug issues in the past as well. Yeah, if you give Red Bull to a lazy person, you've just got a lazy person. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, he's kind of draining my mother-in-law of yeah. what little income <clears throat> she has. She has nothing saved at all. Yeah. Um. How, how is her health? Her health is okay. She's still working. She's a CNA. Mm-hmm. Um. But like and I how, said, how old, how old is the brother-in-law druggy lazy guy? He's 31. Mm, okay. All right. Well, um, number one, I think you and your husband need to have some discussions about what you are willing to do and for whom you're willing to do it. Um, mm-hmm. I, ha- I have pretty strong opinions about that, as you might guess. Um, and that would be a 71-year-old widow lady that is my mom. I'm going to do a lot to take, right. care, take care of her. I'm doing zero for this other guy. Right. He's a parasite. Mm-hmm. Okay, and really, a lot, some serious hard times might be good for him. Right. And um, you know, the only way I'm doing anything for him is if he's on a whole lot better track than he's on right now. Like, um, you know, he's actually working all the time. He's drug free. He's you know, and so on. Um, right. He's got. He's you know, whole different animal starts to evolve than has so far. So, I'm worried I have to take care of him later. Is not a statement I'm going to make. Okay. I might be in a position that I'm wealthy enough that I choose to help him if he is doing some things that are taking him in a positive direction. I'm not going okay. to finance his bad behavior like his mommy did. Because mm-hmm. everyone's patted his little hand his whole life and said, it'll get better, sweetie. It ain't going to get better. Mm-hmm. Okay, because he's a bum. Until he stops bum stuff, then he's going to be there. Now, far as, And I can separate the two of these as far as who I'm willing to help and what I'm willing to help. Um, Mm -hmm. so I doubt that you're probably going to talk mom into behaving with money while she's trying to take care of and be codependent with this parasite. Okay. I doubt you're probably going to have much issue there, you know, progress there as long as that relationship stays in that toxic form that it's in. It's not good. Mm -hmm. It's not good. It's not good for him because he's not getting better. He's not addressing his character issues. It's not good for her because he's sucking the bone marrow out of her life. Right? Yes, that's exactly what's happening. And it's just, you know, it's just disgusting to watch. It's very difficult. Your husband gets mad on one level, and you get mad on a whole nother level watching this. Yes. Yeah, I just read your mail. Yeah. So um, (laughs) you need to keep your mouth shut and step back. That's his family. And let him deal with his family. And you and him talk about it behind closed doors, and then he has to say whatever is said. You can't say anything. You're just the Wicked Witch of the West. You're not allowed to say anything. You're the daughter-in-law. And so... um, can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, anyway, you can do this. How, and you guys are, what, 35? Yeah, we're, yeah, I'm 33. My husband's 36. Yeah, he's the older brother. Yeah. You know, the, yeah, the, he's the oldest, and, and the, he's kind of taken over the The parasites, the, figure, parasites the baby. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. And I'm so sorry. It's so painful to watch people you love do stupid stuff that destroys their own lives. It's just hard to mm-hmm. watch. It really is, and and it's harsh. It just really is. But you've got to. You need to establish ahead of time 
what your boundaries are and what your priorities are and what under what circumstances you will participate. If you okay. don't establish that ahead of time, you and your husband and go and write it down. So the two of you like have your little family constitution of how we're going to deal with mom, how we're going to deal with brother. Um, okay. If you don't, it's going to get in the moment and there'll be a lot of emotion around it more so for him than for you. And then you're going to throw up your hands and go, well, now we're just getting sucked into this thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so you need to decide ahead of time what the boundaries are. Okay. And if you know ahead of time, then when, because it's not a question of when they're going to start asking you for money or if they're going to start asking you money, it's just a question of when. Exactly. And under what circumstances? we want. Yeah, under what circumstances are you going to participate? And really, I'm going to help mom if you can. And the way you do that is you can talk to her about it. You can get her kind of on an idea that she might want to do a budget. Show her some of the stuff you're doing. You can't, yeah. but he can. You can. But but I really am not going to give you much hope she's going to do it because any progress she makes, he's going to take. Okay. He he takes everything. Mm-hmm. And, yep. uh, and and so, you know, until he's out of the house and on his own again, um, she's got not going to be able to really implement a plan because there's so much dysfunction in the family here is what it amounts to. And yeah. um, so, but but the, the last part of that is you guys go finish your job, which is build wealth. Okay. You know, get yourself yeah. out of debt like you've done. You, you get your college funds in place for your kids. You go build wealth mm -hmm. and, you know, you're sitting there and we're 10 years down the road and you guys are millionaires. You got a lot. You're in a lot different position to answer these questions. Then, if mom's okay. 81 and Junior's out of the house, and now we want to take care of mom, it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, we'll take care of her. Okay. Even though she was, you know, you know, in a codependent thing. Yeah, we're still going to take care of her. It's your mom. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, and you, but again, you just got to be careful that you're not financing someone else's crazy land, and that's what you face.